Welcome back to Studs Up, everybody. I'm Studs. Today, I want to look at just some of the buildings I have in the city. I'm doing the city rework, and if you haven't checked that video out, make sure you go check that video out. Uh, it was a pretty long but very fun video, I feel. Uh, there's the vehicles over there. I think uh, if you want to see that video, definitely leave a comment down below. I'm thinking about making one. Leave a like, leave a comment. Um, and there's the the fire station all that stuff i'm only gonna go over the custom and we'll uh take him to the review station and uh let's take a look this one here was an earlier build when i did my uh, kind of building rework and uh, it is a actually a diamond and a produce store as you can see by the banana there uh i'll do a full rotation there for you to see that there's i i don't do i didn't do any windows on the back right here and then on the side here we have another window you can see inside uh we got this nice diamonds printed piece here actually so let's i'm gonna remove the uh, top here and we'll uh take a look on the inside here so for the inside here actually it's very simple um i was envisioning kind of a um bakery-esque kind of a whole foods store for this one where you would come in through the door here you would go to the counter here. There's a cash register um, along with the chef on duty now. And basically you got all these whole whole foods. You know, we got these fruits and bread and more fruits and some fridges over here, you know. And then we got a TV over here for some entertainment, I guess, while the, he's cooking. Um, and it's mainly just like you would order a head. He would prepare the meals and then you would take it kind of kind of idea here. I actually took the sign here. There's one of them. I love this sign here. But it's the banana off of the banana beach man with some pure, I think those are pure yellow, oh, some Lego minifigure heads there. One is a Lego Harry Potter head that looks kind of weird, so I was like, it's one of the old ones that are goofy looking and Lego wasn't, you know, didn't know what they were really, what they were going to do for those. We have a window up front here uh, for nice, uh, to let a lot of light in there. And this building's, a lot of my buildings are on. I try to make them modular, modular, so that way if I ever wanted to add on, I could. This here is just very simply modular, you know. I got the thing all around it, the uh, flat uh, tile pieces there, and so I can easily just put another building on top there if I I want to. Um, I hope some of these builds inspire you guys to uh, maybe try to build some own of these kind of some types of these buildings. So there's no stairs, you know. This is a Lego using some imagination creative liberties here uh and this one here we got a uh this man here this uh little criminal looking guy here he might be scoping the joint out and we got the uh uh cash register manager of the gem store here in the back we have a display case with two gems in it uh we have a garbage can in the corner there and then another display case with four gems in it i can't let's see right and then we have at the counter the man running the store has like a big old gem there. Looks looks pretty valuable. Um, but he's got his eye close on that one. Let's see if I can get a better view of that there. Try to zoom in on that, that case there. There we go. I'm just using some uh, jumper plates in there to put the diamonds on. That works really well along with the uh, the car windshield piece. And that is... That is ah! it didn't turn out well, but looks very dusty on the camera and you know it doesn't look that dusty but um yeah inside there we just got those guys and very simple interiors i'm not i i don't do too complex of interiors usually and usually that's because i i'm not very good at interior design so if you have any video suggestions i'll uh, leave them in the comments below because videos for good interior designing like or for like lego good builds for interior design definitely leave them in the links leave uh leave them in the comments below because i'm i'm rough with that um so that is the diamonds and whole food store there um i think it's a great idea to make your buildings modular um i've never had a problem with using red bricks i think they look kind of like brick an older building then we have some painted accents kind of on there you know um all right let's take a look at the next build this next build is a bank and pizzeria and i actually uh, I used to have a mall in my Lego City. It wasn't the best mall. And then I did an addition with a pizzeria, and I was a huge fan of that pizzeria. 
So I kind of copied the design over and made a bigger pizzeria here. And then I was like, my town needs a bank. So I put a bank on top there. Um, let's take a look at the uh, pizzeria here. This building is also modular. It's not easily modular, but it still is. This interior is just jam-packed with stuff here. I'm a huge fan of this interior. So in the corner here, we have the kind of the stone oven, you know, with the uh, kind of the fire. We have some milk and some other produce on the counter. We have some fish or anchovies in the, uh, not anchovies, but uh, whatever else kind of fish you might put on your pizza. I don't know kind of fish most people put on your pizza. But uh, then over here, we got a stove. It's like two burners on, but only one pan. We got the pizza, maybe some pizza sauce, telephone. Uh, we got pizza in the corner here, some French fries, and uh, some more condiments in the corner there. Uh, we have the employee there. He's uh, from the Lego minifigure series, the pizza delivery boy. Love him. I think he's an awesome figure. And we have a little dining room there with the little peephole window there for the uh, um, customers to peep through and get their food. And then we got some, uh, looks like some uh, beverages and some uh, a boom box there. So, you know, pizza delivery person, maybe a Grubhub or something like that going out to deliver some pizza, which it's a bummer that these, I think those are, those are stickers, which is a bummer, but. All right, let's take a look at the upper half, the bank. The bank is a very simple build. Um, I just, I added this not too recently, just a telephone octane, I don't know, thought it could be interesting. We have a s exhaust pipe on this side here which actually connects up to the uh, pizzeria down below and the pizza oven. So I think that's kind of a fun detail. Doing little details like that in your cities can be really beneficial. Uh, in here, every bank or credit union or whatever has coffee. Every one of those places have coffee and cookies. So I did coffee over here. There's some like cream and sugar or whatever. A little table in the corner, a chair, and then the desk over here with the lady. They got some, she got some, she has some telling machines over here, some teller machines, and then she, there's some money on the table. Uh, and then outside we have the security guard and the little walkway. And then on some of my buildings I put, um, like kind of billboards. Uh, they're just paper, um, just held on with some tape. And that adds actually a lot of detail to my city, you know, it's just like something fun you can do. So if you ever wanted to do that, I recommend it. It uh, usually works out pretty well, so just some billboards. All right. And then the outside of this build actually doesn't have basically any windows. It's very windowless here. You can see, which is kind of annoying and kind of problematic. But, eh, you know, I could, I could always go back and add more windows. And that's something I always thought of doing, you know, go back and rework these older, older builds. But, I don't know. All right, let's take a look at the next build. This one is my LG or Lego guy shop. It is not a Lego branded shop. It is a uh, kind of a homestead, kind of like the Atlanta Bricks, Atlanta Brick Co. or like the uh, Brick Brick Arms and uh, what's the other one? Uh, there's 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 a lot of options like this, you know, where they just they're kind of working with what they got and then they start little shops like this. Side so here we have the owner, this man here. He's a man in the cash register. And then I actually use, I found a great way to use the little micro builds that come in advent calendars um, as Lego sets for your minifigures. Up here we have some massive, you know, like Lego alarm clocks or whatever, you know, they made those. And then here we got the uh, uh, first order uh, Star Destroyer. And then inside here we got Kylo Ren shuttle back there. We got the... Uh, uh, MTT, I think it is. We have the um, Resistance Drop Transport. And we got the Cloud Car, which I did a review on not too long ago. So if you haven't seen that video, shameless plug, go check it out. It's pretty great. Um, and this is on a stand that can stand outside the store, kind of like a big display model. And what I'm saying is these are all big sets, you know, on display for, like, the people. And then... Uh, like, there's probably, like, stuff in, like, the display cases down below here. And so, like, you know, you come into the store, you see something you like. It's probably below that. So, like, that's kind of what I'm going with here. Outside here, I have this really nice Lego flag, which I don't know what set it's from. So, 
I don't, I don't know, but I, I really do like this Lego flag. If you know what set it's from, uh, leave it in the comments below. Just drop the set number or the set name. Um, but I do really, I have a few of these flags, kind of variants. The tall flags are pretty nice and stuff, but uh, yeah. Um, let's take a look at, I think, one more build for this video, and then I'll probably, probably wrap it up. The last build for this video is actually a bigger one. It is my hospital slash kind of emergency care center. Um, on the outside here, we got the big old uh, little worker fell there. Get him in there when we're done. We got two windows on either side here. We got the uh, kind of in case doors. If you find your buildings are getting like really repetitive, and I kind of felt that way, I was like, they're all kind of square. Change up how your where your door sits. I found that moving the door so it sits kind of backwards a little bit, you know, um, kind of sunken into the building. I felt that that changed up the design of the building really, really quite a lot. And I think it really did help the build. Um, so if you need to change something, do something like that, or like do like art on the outside, like the uh, cross symbol there for like the uh, emergency um, care room or whatever, you know, all that stuff. And that, that works well too. Just change up the build a little bit, you know. Um, on the inside here, right when you walk through the door, we got the um, reception desk where the uh, nurse would sit or something like that, you know. They got a little computer over there, a chair, and the reception desk hold there. Um, then we have the waiting room, which is huge in this build. Um, we have the door to get to the receptionist area. On um, this wall, we have a massive TV for people to watch who are waiting. We have two uh, chairs. We have a clock, we have a newspaper, and we have an EMT walking in uh, from somewhere, probably the ambulance outside. Over here, we pass through a door, which then leads into the medical examination room. So this is a very small kind of emergency care center, which they have everything in here. So on this side, they have an eye test chart which I made just by using license plate pieces. Over here we have a scale. Oh, you can't see that. Over there we have a scale, a little medical examination kind of uh, computer thing over there. And then of course we have the examination table, which right now there's a patient sitting on there uh, talking to the doctor and uh, she's got some stuff in her hand. Then we have this little medical station over here probably where they, that's like a freezer or something where they store like blood samples or something like that. Uh, I think I'm going to probably end up raising this up here, this whole section here, and then tiling that off. Um, maybe so I can build a bigger hospital, you know. Um, but I don't know if you know if you have any great ideas. Definitely <laughs> drop them in the comments below. Um, I think I'm going to cut off the video here. It's getting to be quite a lengthy video. Um, definitely look out for part two and maybe even a part three. We are uh, definitely going into some bigger builds here. Um, so I might have to change up where I, uh, um, where our scenery is, but, uh, definitely, uh, I'm looking forward to those. Those are some nice builds. I hope this gave you guys some inspiration, maybe for your own builds, for your own Lego city. Um, definitely go check out the uh, Lego city video. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check out my Clark car review and, uh, my, uh, and stay tuned, like subscribe, ring the bell, uh, so you can watch the next um, building video here. If you want to see a video on custom vehicles in my city, um, let me know down in the comments below. I would, I would love to do a video on that. Um, I just, I want to know, make sure you guys want to see that. Um, and this, this series, I, I mainly just want to give you guys inspiration to know what you want to build, uh, to add to your Lego cities. So if you have any recommendations for my builds, uh, leave in the comments below. If you want to see a part two and three, definitely hit that like button and, uh, studs out.